Okay, I had someone on YouTube name either Sergeant Techno Science or SG Techno Science or something. Sergeant, I don't know. It's something like that. But they wanted me to do something on this electronics learning lab. So what it is is it's just a board it has three different potentiometers here. Um, there's a 10K, a 100K, and a 1M all there. There is a seven segment LED right here which can be used. There is a massive string of LEDs which you can hook up to whatever. There is the main board which goes from 1.5 all the way to 9 volts in 1.5 volt increments. And then you have a switch here which is the double pole, double toggle which will allow you to hook up two things to the same switch. You have four buttons here. Two of mine are currently dead because I overvolted them. You then have a relay, which is a pretty powerful one. I think it takes like four or so volts to get it to click, and it's pretty loud too. And then you have a transformer here, which is I think just an audio transformer, but it will up voltage pretty well. You have a speaker on it, which is a regular speaker, which uses whatever waves you put into it instead of power. Then you have the piezoelectric buzzer, which um, is kind of like a speaker, only it just makes beeps and whatnot by the amount of voltage you put into it. You then have a photoresistor here, which allows you to change resistance using light. And then you have a very small milliamps meter which only goes I think up to one milliamp or something but I'm not sure it only goes if it's one milliamp or if it's in point two or whatever is in 200 or whatever but I think it only goes up to one milliamp so that's it and it comes with wires like these to connect things with and there's shorter and longer ones than that and it comes with a bunch of resistors many um, chips um, this is one of them it's a 785 CT I think this is one of them from this one but this is a trans or this is a voltage regulator so put that back since it's being used in my laser circuit and then it comes with these massive workbooks. Now, um, they're, they're pretty thick, but there's two of them. One is with easy stuff to build in it, and it lists all the symbols. Whoop, damn shadows. The light's behind me. But it lists all of the different components that it has. It also has a resistor color code calculation system for you. So that's kind of nice, if you need it. Um, the book is pretty well designed. It has a uh, pretty cool font on it. And there's the label of all the things on it. It has a bunch of these. Uh, oh wait, that's not it. That's a part. These are the parts list that it comes with. It comes with resistors, connection wires, capacitors. It comes with a diode or two, I think. You have an, those are the heavier diodes, and then you have the lighter diodes, which are like the clear metal ones, uh, or not the metal, but glass. You have the LEDs. You have some smaller transistors. You have the MOSFETs. You also have in the, a bunch of integrated circuits. I don't even know what all you get, but you get a bunch of stuff. So, you get, um, what else does it say? I don't know how many things there are, but these are like the illustrations in it. This is a very useful circuit for timing. It does come with, I think, two 555 timers, which is nice. But the circuits are very good and clear. Um, I think it may be, it might not show the amount you get. But you get 
a bunch of them. They're all... There's no way you're going to lose any of it. Alright, and so in the advanced book, you now learn circuits such as this, which basically these are different gates. I think this is an AND. Um, I'm not sure what that one is, but I'm pretty sure that's an AND. Or wait, never mind, that's an AND. Derp. So, oh well. Whatever it is. Yeah. Oh wait, that is an AND. Up there it says AND. But, there it is. Um, this book is the same, pretty much. Only a little more advanced some places. Starts out quite a bit further into the book. I haven't really done much in the books. I've more used it for designing circuits than I have for other things. But yeah, they're getting pretty advanced by the end of the book. So, if you want something that can step you up from beginner to pretty much intermediate or advanced, then this thing will do what you want it to do. If you were just looking for something like this to build with as a circuit board, like I was, I just wanted this for the board and to be able to power things through 9 volts, then that'll probably work pretty good. I think it's um, 60 to $80 at Radio Shack if they still have it. Mine's pretty messed up because, yeah, I think I put, I don't know, like a good two or three amps through this one and melted it at the bottom. But it does, it does hold up pretty good as long as you're not melting things on it on purpose. So this is a pretty good kit. It comes with a lot of parts. Um, if you really want a bunch of electronics parts, I would recommend it. It's worth it. It does a lot of things, so yeah, if that's what you wanted, then go. So yeah, I'll see you.